Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm going to be doing another Game Maker Studio tutorial video. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to show you guys today. Um, basically, those who follow my channel a lot know I made a really, really simple little game. So I'm going to show you bits of how I made this simple game, and it was uh, called Simple Space Shooter. It was for a charity game jam, and uh, a lot of um, a lot of it came from other tutorials. Like the start, um, the start buttons and whatnot came from other tutorials. I'm waiting for it to load up so I can show you. Like this highlighting of like buttons, that's from a different tutorial. Um, a start screen going back and forth and uh, shooting is basically from a different one. We got some sound, like the health drawn is from a different video. Scores from a different video. So I'm basically going to show you how this background works. I think in this video. Yes, I think that's what I'll do. Alright, so basically you need to load in your backgrounds. I have this background and it's um you know, six forty by nine sixty. It's just a little simple background. And did you notice I should have asked this ready, did you notice how the background sort of like well the player is moving forward and the sky seems to be going moving around it. The sky is not actually moving. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? So basically what you need to do is load in a background and then go to rooms and whatever room you want the level in load in the background um, just here you could just pick your background and uh, I did there and then check these boxes and you just need the vertical speed at two or however fast you want to go so basically your ship no matter what is in the same room and the backpack moves around it so this is very good for shooter games so that you don't have to have a bunch of different screens that he walks through and whatnot it's just always one and if you have sort of an ambionic background people tend to not notice if you have one full one if you have tiles it's not going to work out as well now these little planets one looks like a cookie and one doesn't look like a cookie they're a bit special um... they're just to help with the scenery and for them what you need to do is make an object let's close some of these because they're just confusing the fuck out of me basically want to make an object and here's my object like planet and it's create event you need to execute a piece of code and that code is setting the depth to a large number so that it's behind your ship so the, the depth is just like how things stack on top of each other so if it's got a big depth it's going to be underneath and you can also set the depth like right here I just didn't know that at the time and then I have its speed is 1.5 so it's a bit slower than the background so the background moves underneath this planet and this planet moves slowly on top of it and that just keeps it moving and then under a step event um, I just dragged these in from these commands you could do it in code as well but I was rushing I only had four days left I basically just dragged in this variable and if um, y is greater than room height so you just have like here let's see what I have under there actually be easier this way if variable y um, value room underscore height so that's just saying um, the height of the room once it gets to the end of the room so if it's greater than room height it jumps back well this actually says it jumps back to a random room width which means randomly at the top of the room and minus 75 just means um, there's a time when it's not on the screen it starts off way above the screen and then slowly trickles down so that's kind of important because you don't want it just as soon as it's gone to reappear I'm going to give it a little time and for my cookie I did basically the same thing I have the same depth I have the same speed 1.5 and you can have these go faster and then I have the same room height greater than and random thing except this one I have an even bigger number because I want the planet to show up more often than this ugly cookie because it's ugly so just a quick tutorial on how to do that on um, this like bottom screen thing that I made I'm, I'm just talking about stuff now um, basically I also had like a negative depth so that your um, spaceship can't go on top of it that's sort of important as well. It's just um the depth is just placing and I didn't know that before, so it was kind of a new thing. So yeah. That's how you do the background as well as some background objects on a random shooter game. As always, thanks for watching. I know I don't make these videos often, but if you like this video, please click the like button if you found it helpful. If you've got any questions, um leave a comment. And yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch TV, links in the description. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh to remember how to get out of BB Flash.